Yeah, how are you? I'm John Steinberger. I'm the owner, manager and bus driver of TMC Tours. We're a family business. The daughters do the guiding and we operate guided tours around Mount Morgan and specialise on the mine site with a uh, operating agreement with the government, Department of Mines, to actually go throughout the tour. And uh, that's where we are at the moment, in Mount Morgan Mine. Yeah, Mount, Mount Morgan, it's, uh, I suppose, at the foot of the D ranges. That's approximately 38 kilometres southwest of Rockhampton, central Queensland. And uh, in 1870, it was more of a, uh, a rough country with a few uh, cattle and sheep properties. And there was various locations within the region that was uh, gold rushes and gold strikes. But this little location here held it secret for 12 years. And in 1882 it began mining and developed into one of the richest gold ore bodies in the world for a period, a short period. And it became a bustling town of, uh, of everything going to a population of 15,000. That mightn't seem a lot today, but in those days it was one of the biggest towns outside of Brisbane. Out of here we got 225,000 kilograms of gold assayed, 50,000 uh, kilos of silver and 360,000 tonnes, now I note the word tonnes, of copper. So it wasn't only a gold mine, it was a very large copper mine. Originally uh, tunnelling and quarrying for the first 50 years and then a fire sort of changed the whole focus of the operation which then became a major open cut mining. This mine up here actually revolutionised spiral open cut mining throughout uh, Oz. We've got very important paleontology uh, discoveries up on the mine site. Actually the uh, mine has uncovered it. If you can understand the smelting process, it needs enormous heat to actually melt the rock. So with their furnaces they had to line it with fire clay and luckily on this site, on the northernmost boundary there was a, uh, or there still is, is sandstone ridges which contain fire clay so the mine has actually excavated them. They actually tunnelled in and, and developed these man-made cabins and not knowingly they uncovered dinosaur tracks which are on the ceilings today. Now these are early Jurassic uh, footprints which goes back to 175 to 195 million years ago. So these are theropods and these guys were averaged around the two and a half metre size. So the, the last eight years it's been uh, of, of mining existence between 82 and 90 they went through tailing stumps and that was reprocessing and that was quite uh, profitable. They got 15 tonnes of gold, which is quite a considerable amount of, especially today's uh, value is over $1,100 an ounce. But there's a, a company uh, interested at the moment, an outside private company that want to go through tailing dumps again. So we hope, and I've been told, uh, hopefully in this financial year they'll start construction stage and uh, well, I suppose it'll give Mount Morgan a little bit more life again. and It'll be good for the town. Well, I'll say I've been here off and on for the last 27 years. So a tender came up in the, uh, in the paper for uh, tour operations in the Mount Morgan mine site. And after six months of the successful tender, and I suppose uh, that's how I've got it. And, and very fortunate to have uh, two of my daughters working uh, with me and for me and uh, which I think we make a pretty good team and tourism side of it. It's got lots of potential in this area. And, you know, we're also focusing on the educational side, trying to get more and more schools on board. So, you know, like here, we've got the history, we've got the mining, we also got the uh, environmental science, and we also have the, uh, the dinosaur side of it. And very shortly, we intend to start gold panning. Well, last July was our uh, best month throughout our three years of operation, and if it keeps going that way, it'll be... Uh, It'll be real good.